I think it's great fun to be yourself. Because if you are yourself, that means you like yourself. People who pretend don't like themselves. That's why they want to be somebody else. So that's 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 what I feel. Yeah. Great. I think we're gonna open it up to the audience for some questions. Thank you. 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 We have a lot of time, so we take about four questions. And uh, can I have the mic, Can I This is an intelligent table. There are three hands which went up. From this whole conversation, I was observing your energy, and it was fantastic. I mean. I feel drained if I work uh, uh, continuously for three days and today after 30 years of continuous work, you are so energetic, you feel so uh, lively, what is the reason, uh, what is the secret behind it? And I think Kurgaksh has missed this point, we should ask such kind of a legend that what is the secret of his energy? But that's why they are asking, giving you an opportunity to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I love life. And I'm... <coughs> It, it's, the only way you can connect is by being real. The energy comes for, and if you are doing something which you love, you will never get tired. It's only when you do something which you don't like, you will get tired. If I was in steam plant, I would have never been here. Not that you would have called me. But, <laughs> but if you love acting, if you love connecting with people, if you love chatting, if you are telling about your life, there is no way that you will get tired. And uh, God has been kind to me. He has given me this kind of energy or whatever that energy is. My mother used to say, Koi tumhane tarif kare, you should immediately say, thu thu. So thu thu. So, <laughs> so I, I, I just feel that I love life. It's so wonderful to be alive. It's so wonderful to live. We are constantly cribbing. We are constantly upset. We are constantly uh, in stress. Because we are constantly thinking about what we did not get. I think always what I actually got. I can be very upset why I am not Al Pacino. But I am Anupam Khe, right? How many people are Anupam Khe? That, that's only the... So who is the one person in your life you want to meet again once more? I am not talking about people who are dead. You must have met somebody earlier and you were so desperate to, uh, to be wanted to meet, uh, have a meeting with him. Okay. One person. It's not, you see the point is that if, I, if that person is alive, I can easily go and meet the person. I can afford it or I can pursue that whole thing. My place is called Ujbi Ho Sakta. Anything is possible. And that has become a philosophy of my life. I never thought that I will one day go and I will one day meet Michael Jackson. I thought he was phenomenal. I got to meet him. But it was very funny. Michael Jackson had come to India and everybody was raving that he was going to go. So they, somebody invited 100 people to meet him. So we, were, we went to Taj or Bhogarava Hotel and everybody this, so-called pseudo-intellectual society of Mumbai was just standing behind and there was Michael Jackson standing. I was there, there was a huge barricade and I said, I have to shake hands with him, what's wrong with me? And there were people saying, oh, I broke that barricade and I came on the stage, so his, his, all his body was almost wanted to pounce on me. So the organizer comes to him, who says, Nikhil, he's the best actor in the country. <laughs> so there's a photograph of my guy, I'm like this, and I'm like this, and I'm like this. You have to take a chance. If I have a lot of standing there and sort of saying, you know, Michael Jackson, Mr. Champagne, etc. The other person I never thought I would meet, I got to work with him was Woody Allen. I've grown up seeing Woody Allen's films. So I never thought, I said, why will Woody Allen take me? But last year I got a chance to be working with Woody Allen. But among the people who are no more, I would have wanted to spend 17 more years with my grandfather. That would have been the great 
Yeah, it's inspiring to know, uh, to hear when you say that you're so comfortable with the person that you are today. But every role that you play is so, so, so very different from, you know, what you are. So, how did that playing a different character in every role make you what you are today? Because I want to be the best in the film. It's my personal feeling. I always treat my role as a hero's role, even when I'm playing a villain. I see the. I think it's personal desire to excel. It's personal. It's not. It's not green. Um, I love love this, and I'm. I'm a trained person. It makes a lot of difference. I keep stressing about training, but it does make a difference when you are when you are a trained actor. And uh, if you have spent three years in Bombay on the streets, hungry, then you eat on in into every role that you get and you make an example out of it. And I also think I did it because I felt that 26 years later in a summit somebody should ask me this question. And for that reason I had to do all that. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Keda. Uh, one, I'm using hair. Uh, do, you, do you have some Something for Nothing is going to happen to you. <laughs> you will keep losing. There, is, there are only two kinds of people, bodies and future bodies. <laughs> okay, here is my real question. Uh, I've seen you in some very intense roles. Uh, intense in the sense, uh, whether, whether it's something like Saraj, which is intense at, in one direction, something like Jill, where it's intense in the other direction. Uh, you go through real life situations uh, as a human being. Uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, a morning or maybe a, a happy situation. Uh, do you think sometimes that even in real life situations there are aspects of you that are faking it or I mean how do you deal with the psychological uh, 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 I feel that of the I treat my role as completely as jobs. It's a job to be done. I don't carry my emotions home at all. This whole rubbish about that I get immersed into my acting and then please leave me alone. I am I'm not I don't come into that category. And no actor comes into that category. It's just to make yourself feel important. The only reason, only way I will have to sort of go and check somebody if I'm playing an alien. Then I will have to see people I've not seen an alien. Otherwise, drunkard, jealousy, love, fight, anger, these are the emotions I've seen around me and myself. I will give you a great example of my first film, Saranj. There's a very famous scene, most of you have seen that when I go to collect ashes for my son. It's a scene where I go to collect ashes of my son from the custom office and I burst out in tears, etc, etc, and I told the director, let me just do this scene, and that became a historical scene. It's one of the ten best scenes ever done. A lot of people ask me, you were 27, you, you, had a, you did a role of a 65 year old man, and that also whose son has been murdered in America and the ashes have come through. What did you think? Why did you that scene? How did you manage to get those emotions? The truth was, just before that scene I thought, if this film does not work for me, my career will be ruined. <laughs> Because there are so many things. So when they are asked this question, 
they start getting into the speed. You know, actually what happens is that the psychological moment of my life, I capture from my gut and then I all things will do that week. So nothing of that sort. I am very happy. I get the job. The first thing that happens to me is when I read a, a, a script, the visual of that man comes into it. And I family, the most comic roles that you have seen are part of my family members. <laughs> they are all my family members. The Bill character was one of my uncles. <laughs> he failed eight times in eight standards. So on ninth time, principal promoted him on compassionate grounds. <laughs> so he all his class fellows started calling him uncle. <laughs> so it was, there is a very famous scene in Dulwale Jodhani Ali Nagy. Have you seen that film? Where I introduced Shah Rukh Khan to his family. I said, Yes, my father is a Sathvi class and he has been a Sathvi class. And he has been a Sathvi class and he has been a Sathvi class. So what I told Yash Ji, Mr. Yash Chopra, can I have my actual uncle's pictures and can I take their actual names? So he said, doesn't matter, whatever you want to do, so I said, chalo. So I said, this Dwarka Nath Ji hai, ye Aadhi Ji ne Aadhi Baal Phel Hoi, ye Mohan Laad Ji hai. I actually read out my biometer of my family to this. When the film was about to release, or got to release, I wrote to all my uncles, thinking that they will be very upset. I said, sorry, sir, I have your name, Mr. Malki, Dada Ji, Taya Ji. All of them sent me congratulations.